Well, I'm sure that right now you are fully aware that when you are creating or editing a picture using Gemini, there is going to be a watermark at the bottom right corner of the picture. It is small, but it is definitely there. And it can be really annoying. Sometimes you have to remove the watermark by using a third party AI tool or perhaps just cropping the picture. And that's just not the best or the most elegant solution. But what if I told you that there is a way to generate or edit a picture in Gemini without adding the watermark into the picture? So this is actually quite interesting and I'm surprised that nobody's talking about this. So this workaround has something to do with the Gemini API, but don't worry. This video is not for developers. This video is for everyone. In, in fact, your grandma can easily follow the tutorial that I'm about to show you in this video. It is very simple and it, you'll be surprised that it is actually very easy to achieve the picture or create a picture without a watermark in Gemini. Again, we are going to be using Gemini. We are not using any third party tool, just use Gemini. So I guess without further ado, let me show you how you can generate and edit a picture with Gemini, but without the watermark. So let's open gemini.google.com or perhaps you can also do this on the mobile version of Gemini. And by the way, this method can be applied to all users, even if you're using the free version of Gemini, you can still do this. You can still follow this tutorial. Okay, so we want to utilize a feature in Gemini called Canvas. So just enable Canvas and you can insert this instruction into Gemini. Don't worry, I'm going to put this instruction in the description. It is quite long because we actually want to create an app using Gemini. And in that app, it is going to be utilizing the Gemini 2.5 image model. So that is the real name of the Gemini Nano Banana. And perhaps if you're watching this video in the future, you might want to use a different model in case Google has a better model. But right now, when I'm recording this video, this is the best model for creating and editing a picture. Now, uh, it doesn't open the canvas mode immediately, but you, you, we can tell Gemini to please open the canvas mode. So I don't know what's going on, but normally when you enable the canvas mode, it will just open the window, the side window on the right side that will uh, show you the code. But for some reason, now we have to do it manually. That's just some new behavior. But at least now it is uh, launching and I guess I'll just skip forward until it finishes the code and I'll show you the app that it generated based on the instruction. So I'll be back in a second. All right, so we got this app. This is basically the app that allows us to generate and edit a picture without a watermark. And again, it is still in Gemini. So let's try. I want to create, let's say, generate a picture of a cat and dog playing badminton in a realistic style. So that's going to be the prompt. Okay, let me just send the message. Oh, I have to click this button, I guess generate image this might take up to 30 seconds and by the way i forgot to mention that even though if you're using the same prompt the interface of the app could be a different so you cannot expect the same thing every single time that's just the way ai works but more or less the function is still the same and there you go we got uh, this picture and i can download this to my computer there you go it is downloaded and now just to give you perspective that uh we are getting the same quality as the regular Gemini version and by the way there is no watermark as you can see here on the right side there is no watermark whatsoever now I'm going to open a new tab and I'll just create the same picture again using the official version of Gemini the uh, official website and you will see that we are getting more or less the same picture but in this case it will have the watermark so one doesn't have a watermark but this one which is the official version has the watermark and yep we got this picture with the watermark so and the picture is not the same, but the activity and the subjects are basically the same. So, okay, it is work for creating a picture, but how about modifying or editing a picture? Well, you can do that too. Just click this. And let's say I want to select this picture. Uh, there is a guy with a big mustache and I'll just tell AI to remove, sorry, remove the mustache. 
let's send a message yeah the ui is not quite great sometimes you will get a ui that looks much better more intuitive sometimes you look something that's kind of crappy like this but i think it's still more or less functional so okay okay uh i mean it still has the mouse touch okay let me just do it again but as you can see it is actually editing a picture and it is still the same person it is still the same person it's the same detail but without the watermark so yeah uh the interface is not quite good and by the way the benefit of using this tool is you can share the app that you created so anyone can use the app that is now allowing the user to create and edit a picture without a watermark there you go so no mustache no watermark and if you want to share the app click this share button and then you can copy the link and share the link to your friends and they should be able to use the same app that you just created via Gemini Canvas. And again, it is being powered by the same image model as Gemini Nano Banana. So I guess that's basically it. That's how you can generate and modify a picture using Gemini's Nano Banana, but without the watermark. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.